Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum, man. This is your boy, the one and only Azokar, man. Bring you flame. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. You'll be left with a loop. Every time your boy drop that work, you feel me? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Big Brother Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, the league attorney, J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Too Raw for Sports, Too Raw for TV. Kick him with Mr. Moss, L.C. Predator, Catcher, J.D., Black Tariq, and she, Dr. Umar Johnson. Yo, this brother bring the flame. Bring the flame on the YouTube streets, you know what I'm saying? The brothers be bringing it. Even on the sports, you know what I'm saying, sports tip. And people hardly even watch ESPN anymore just to see. The only time they watch ESPN to see the narratives that's created uh, by the media. But the real sports fans, they be online and they be peeping it and they be bringing it like it ain't nothing. You hear me? So, so much content out there, man. It's, it's like not even ESPN worthy because ESPN be on that bull. They be strictly on that bull. But we got these scores and stats, man. We going to cook on it. And uh, what was it? November the 4th, uh, 2023. An NBA Saturday night. So let's rock and roll with these scores and stats. Let's do it, baby. Oh, yeah. Right back at it. 4th of November. 4th of November, we had eight games in the NBA. Y'all ready to cook with your boy? Cook with your boy. We're going to start off with the Suns and the 76ers. Sun and them 76ers. Yo, Kevin Durant, them, and they start off with a pretty slow start this year, man, due to injuries or whatnot. But Joel Embiid, Kelly O'Brien Jr. lead the 76ers past Phoenix, winning 112 to 100 for their fourth straight win. The 76ers needed a big lift from big man out of Kansas each time under man Suns made a run at the lead. You knew how that went, man. Kevin Durant had 31 points. Oh, let's see here. Ooh, no, go go back, go back, go back, go back. Mm. Kevin Durant showed up, man. He always going to show up. The big slogan always going to show up. Game two, Indiana Pacers and Charlotte Hornets. And uh, Charlotte Hornets sneak away with this by the hair of their chinny, chin, chin. Mark Williams scored 27 points. Gordon Hayward had 23. And the Charlotte Hornets snapped a three-game losing streak. With a 125-124 victory over the Indiana Pacers on Saturday night. Mm. Two. Hey, we had 23-6-3. Uh, Terry Rozier. They call him Rozier. 22-3-6. They just can't put it together, man. Ball had 11 and 11-2. And he's, he's, he's been struggling here recently, man. And the Pacers overtopping, starting. He had 11 points, four rebounds. Ooh, Tyler's Heidenberger had 43, 12, and two. Good Lord, he had a good game. Ooh, dude, nice, man. Dude is nice. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Lakers in the match, rematch of this week's early on uh, game where the Lakers won. But this one, the Melodon Magic's winning a more convincing uh, status right here. Went at 120 to 101. France Wagner scored 26 points. Pablo Bantro added 25 and 10 assists and 7 rebounds. Good Lord. And Orlando Magic blasted Los Angeles Lakers 120 to 101. Man, this is not a good team. Lakers is, everybody think they all that. They are not all that, man. I'm just saying, though. The high man was 28 for the Lakers, 28, 13, and 3 for the, uh, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis last pass stretch three games been pretty nice. LeBron, 24, 5, and 9. 8 for 15 shoot. Not bad. Not bad at all. But they need help from everybody else. D'Angelo Russell, ooh, 4 for 17. Lord, Lord, Lord. They go, I'm sure they go cook on that later on because they shot. What? 26 for 3. Lord. 
Hawks and the Pelicans. And Atlanta Hawks get their record up to 4 and 2, winning 123 to 105 over the New Orleans Pelicans. Once Trey Young and the struggling Atlanta Hawks found an offensive rhythm in the second half, there seemed little Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, or the rest of the team could, could do anything to keep up. There's nothing they could do. That cough, that cough would be lovely early in the morning, man. I'm telling you. But the Hawks win it. 123-105. Young had 23. Zion had 25. Celtics in the Nets. And it seemed like the Boston Celtics are the only undefeated team in the NBA right about now, y'all. Justin Taylor scored 22, 32 points and grabbed 11 boards to lead the Boston Celtics to the 125 win over the Brooklyn Nets on Saturday night. <laughs> Cam Thomas, 27 points for Brooklyn. Five and three, but it wasn't enough. Then with it, 19, six and six. He's a good player, man, but is he wasting his time in, in Brooklyn, man? He couldn't have no choice but to get there, you know. But they 500, losing to the Boston, 124. 114. Kings and the Rockets. Oh, Lord. The Kings got they ass to blast it on this one, boy. Rockets winning 107 to 89. Brooks has a big fourth quarter. Scores 26 to lead Rockets over the Kings. Dylan Brooks scored 12 his 26 points in the fourth quarter to beat the Houston, uh, the, the lead the Houston Rockets over the win over the Sacramento Kings. Ooh. Oh, boy, 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 boy. It's just one of those games. Jazz and the Timberwolves. Ooh, that's my dog right there, Anthony Edwards, man. Anthony Edwards is dog. Come on, come to New York, man. We need life, life from you, man. Come on, come to New York. We don't want Julius Randle no more. Julius Randle is not that dude. He not that dude no more. We don't want him. But Carl Anthony Towns scored 15 this season, high 25 points in a dominant third quarter stretch. And the Minnesota Timberwolves pulled away to beat the Utah Jazz. 123-95 on Saturday night. Saturday night. Have some fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna run. The high man for Utah was... Larry Markin in 22, 8-1. and They really didn't do too much. You know what I'm saying? But the Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards, 31. Good God, that's what I'm talking about, man. Town right behind on 25, 7-1. And Town should be dominating, man. He should be getting double digits every goddamn game. Every goddamn game he should be getting that shit, man. But it's just like... These new players don't want to go inside or none of that shit, man. I, I don't understand it. I mean, I really don't understand it. Everything is so wide open. And it's like, how can you stop a fast motherfucker if he fast? I mean, shit, you can't put your hands on these motherfuckers no more. So what, what, what is it? And they talk about the old, these older players could not play back in the day. Man. Man, it would have been unfair. It'd have been unfair. I think it'd have been real unfair. A motherfucker like, hey, uh, this is Magic Allen Houston getting this shot off now. I mean, it, Kobe. I mean, it's so many. Steve Smith. The Eddie Jones. You know what I mean, man? But, boy, let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. But the last game of the night, we got them Chicago Bulls against the world champion Denver Nuggets. And the Denver Nuggets roll. Roll. I mean, roll on this one. Good God. When the 123 to 101, Jokic had 28 points, 16 rebounds, and 9 assists. 
Michael Porter Jr. had season's best 27. The Denver Nuggets overcame a loss of point guard Jamal Murray to beat the Chicago Bulls 123-104 on Saturday night. Now, I wonder what happened to Jamal Murray. I hope he's going to be okay. I really hope so. Man, but the Rosen just don't seem happy in Chicago, man. What could he go with? He really fit in. You know what I'm saying? I, I bet I don't know. But Denver look good. The Jackson going to do his thing off the bench. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, good shot, boy. Good shot. But man, I'm glad y'all tuned on in to holler at your boy. Fuck with your boy. On these NBA streets. Today is November the 5th, but this is November the 4th. NBA scores and stats, you feel me? Man? So once again, I want to thank you for taking your time out, sacrificing it, hollering at your boy, sitting down, being entertained. If you like the content, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the PayPal or the Cash app. That's if you do so, you feel me? Because guess what? Guess what, players? Close mouth. Don't get fed. This your boy has a car, and I'm out. I think the reason that feel like you need multiple women to satisfy your like needs and wants is because of your mentality. If you found a woman that did have like the intellectual capacity that on the same level as yourself, you, would you be bored as easily as your? It's. I never said I would be bored. I just have a king's appetite, love. Okay, but if you found a woman who was on the same intellectual level as you, would you still want other women? It's improbable, but certainly yes, I would, because it's not that a woman has a lack of intellect that I would want a separate woman. Women have trouble understanding the thinking of men, which makes sense in as much as we can't really understand your thinking fully. Mm -hmm. But know this, you might say, Marquette, you like thick women, which I do. And then you see me with a Vietnamese woman, you're like, I thought you like thick women. Ah, I also like thin women. I like tall women. I also like short women. And variety is a flavor, you dig? So it's like, what is a player to do when his favorite flavor is new? Mm. Ooh, I like how you said ooh. that.